Okay, I'm going to start the recording. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the wizarding, wizardly world of potions and brews. And um, I mentioned before some of you came on that I have the recipes printed out on little cards. And it just takes a couple sheets of paper and um, one um, 55 cent stamp. So um, everybody that's on here right now, um, I'll make sure you get it. And if you're watching this on replay, um, text me your name and address and I will send you a copy of the card. So because there's like 14 recipes in this presentation so you'd be scribbling like crazy to try to get them all in so so this will just make it easier for you there are two that i left out and on when we get to those i will tell you which two they are so if you want them you can write them down okay um so we're going let me share my screen here um, Okay, so welcome to the wizarding world of potions and brews. And um, we are just going to talk through just different kinds of recipes that you can use. So things, um, if we did this in person, we'd probably have the material available and we'd um, make some of these. So I'm sorry we can't meet in person right now, but there it is. So, um, so first of all, every wizard knows that quality ingredients matters when it comes to potions and brews. And that is why I love Young Living because I feel they are the best quality oil on the market. And um, of course, because of their seed to seal guarantee. They own their own farms, which no other major company does. It has partner farms all over the world. It, um, it picks the absolute best seeds from the strongest thriving plants. It harvests at peak times. It distills on site at the proper temperature and pressure. And um, it tests every batch multiple times. Awesome, right? And so, um, safety and usage is here. You can use these topically, internally, and aromatically. So, um, topically, just put a few drops on your skin and rub them in. If it's a hot oil, be sure to dilute it with uh, carrier oil. And um, if you take it internally, it should be the oils that have the um, white label labeled Vitality. Um, although we don't distill them or process them any differently um, in the white bottles than other bottles. So, and then aromatically, of course, in the diffuser or just breathing them from your hands or putting them on a Kleenex or that kind of thing. So. And concocting your own sprays is a great way to, to use them uh, aromatically. We talked about that last week with the poopery spray. So um, lots of different ways that you can use them. So for, um, so we're gonna dive right in here, spray away. Um, so you need a glass or metal spray bottle, um, although some oils you can use a plastic, uh, like for the household cleaner, I use a plastic bottle, um, but um, it just depends on what oils you use. So, so um, if you're familiar with Harry Potter movies, these terminologies will be familiar to you. So the Obliviate spray. So Obliviate to get rid of it so clean up the air so this spray will dispel odors from your home with this house elf approved spray um, so you need 10 to 15 drops of pur purification and five drops of lemon and then um, 
Combine the essential oils with a quarter cup of wish hazel in a four ounce glass bottle and um, pop it off with, it says distilled water, but whichever, whatever kind of water you want to use. Um, and remember, we use witch hazel because it helps the oil um, disperse in the water. So that is um, a good reason to use the um, witch hazel. And shake it well before each use. And if you're spraying it a little at a time, keep spraying, shaking it as you're spraying. Okay, the next one is a fall spray. And this one is um, six drops of cinnamon, five drops of nutmeg, and 10 drops of orange. And again, um, a quarter cup of witch hazel in a four ounce glass bottle and top off with distilled water and shake it before each use. So um, this one will smell, this is a, I think there might be one similar to this for the diffuser too. This is a great one to put in a diffuser for a nice fally type smell. Okay, and then roller bottles. We talked a, a bit about roller bottles last week, and this is a great way to stretch your oils and make them last longer. So um, like uh, we talked about aromases or pan away. So instead of using it full strength from the bottle, you can put like 30 ounces in a I mean, 30 drops in a 10 ounce spray bottle, and then the rest, um, mi uh, mixing oil, vegetable oil, or um, olive oil, V6 oil, and it will um, still be just as effective when you use it, but it will make your oil last a little longer. So this one is called Repero Roller. In um, Harry Potter, Repero is to fix. So this one is for a sour tummy. So um, 10 to 15 drops of dye dries and five drops of peppermint. So combine them with your favorite carrier oil like V6, jojoba, coconut oil, almond oil, avocado oil in a 10 milliliter glass bottle. And then make sure you leave a little bit of space for the roller cap to fit on. Okay, um, nearly headless Nick roller. So if you've ever felt like your head was going to explode, this might be a good one for you to have. It's 15 drops of Panaway and eight drops of peppermint. And then you can apply this to your forehead, your temples. I suggest not near your eyes on your temple, but more back towards the hairline of your temples and the back of your neck and then inhale it a little bit and use it as needed to, um, to make your head not explode. Uh, Dragon Time Roller. This one is to, um, for that monthly dragon. It's hard to stay calm, so manage the roller coaster of emotions and keep it together during that time of the month. So 15 drops of dragon thyme and five drops of lavender. And then the rest, the carrier oil. And roll it on your lower abdomen as needed. Okay, the next set is for um, diffuser recipes. And these are just great for smelling good. This killer combo will have you back to your normal self in no time. So four drops of thieves and two drops of lemon into your diffuser and just let that diffuse away whatever room you're in. It's the name of it's Knox the Nasties. Okay. Um, setting yourself up for a successful day, maybe put this on if you're working in the kitchen before you start your day or in the bathroom. Um, and may bravery be on your side. So four drops of val valor and two drops of copaiba. 
And then the Quidditch World Cup. Quidditch on Harry Potter is a, a game that they play. So this is an aroma you can put in the diffuser and it just helps you relax. It just smells good. So two drops of lemongrass, two drops of lavender, two drops of geranium, two drops of spearmint, and two drops of tangerine. I'm trying to figure out if there are people in the waiting room. Don't know how to do that when I'm on screen share. I'm gonna go out of, oh, here we go. Okay, maybe not. I'm going to stop sharing for just a second and see if there's... Oh, doesn't look like there's anybody in the waiting room, so... Okay, so this one smells really good. I like this one a lot. Okay, um, pumpkin pasties. So put this in your diffuser and um, it just smells wonderful. Cinnamon bark, cardamom, ginger, thieves, just awesome um, smells for the fall. That earthy kind of, um, you know, smell. The, you know, the diffuser is wonderful to um, get rid of your scented candles. The, um, that most scented candles use synthetic fragrances and dyes, and so they give off those VOCs, even at room temperature, even when you're not burning the candle. So um, some of the VOCs related to scent that are given off by candles is formaldehyde and petroleum distillates, alcohol and esters. These harm harmful chemicals can cause health problems ranging from headaches dizziness and allergy symptoms to asthma attacks, respiratory tract infections, and even cancer. So good to get rid of the candles and plug in your diffuser. You can use them for in your bedroom for sleep at night. Um, Barb shared with us one that she uses for, um, for congestion at night. So lots of different recipes that you can use. Just collect them over time. Okay, the next one is um, potions. So um, from head to toe, these potions have got you covered. Support your hair, skin, joints, and muscles with these recipes. Hi, Saki. Um, so you don't have to take a lot of notes. I'm mailing all the recipes to everyone. So you can just relax and enjoy. Okay. I don't know what this word is, but this is if you need a bit of sore muscle support after a long day of fighting evil and waving your wands, try this. So this is, um, you'll need a glass container, a cup of coconut oil, five to 10 drops of pan away, two drops of peppermint, and three drops of frankincense. So you whip up the coconut oil with an electric mixer and scoop it into the container, and then stir in the essential oils and rub onto sore muscles as needed. For nunculus potion, does your skin need extra TLC? Are you cursed with fernunculus? Um, that's the pump, pimple jinx. Let's get your skin all mended with the following mixture. So you want alcohol-free witch hazel, a glass container like that dripper one that's there, five to 10 drops of purification, five to 10 drops of frankincense, and five to 10 drops of lavender. So you put the witch hazel in your container and then add 15 to 30 drops, about five to 10 of each oil, and then shake before each use and apply it to a cotton round or a cotton ball to use on your face morning and night. 
and then follow it up with your favorite moisturizer. So fun. Now this one um, is the one that I did not put in. I'm a, it says flu powder and it says on days where you have a little wizard cap hair, try this easy DIY dry shampoo to help tame the beast. So if you want to um, write this one down, this one will not be in what I'm mailing you. So um, you need a small glass container, an old makeup brush, a quarter cup of arrowroot powder, and an eighth a cup of cocoa powder if you have dark hair. And then um, five, to ten, five drops of lavender or rosemary. So put the arrow rip powder and the essential oils in there and mix it up real well. Um, add cocoa powder slowly to the desired hair color and then use an old makeup brush applied directly to the roots at night and rub in. Brush out any remaining powder the next morning in style as usual. I don't think you'd want to put on cocoa powder on your hair if you have a light colored pillowcase. I don't, I'm just thinking, but. So, <laughs> but this, I guess is supposed to be a dry shampoo. So I guess you could put it on and, and um, you know, let it sit for an hour or so and then just brush it out with a dry towel or something too. So anyway, that's one I did not print. So, um, okay. Our Vitality line gives you the freedom to mix and match some of our best loved essential oils in a variety of nutritious and delicious ways. So if you're familiar with Harry Potter, they had a thing called butter beer that they <coughs> was the kid's favorite drink. So this is a two-step recipe. First, you make a vegan caramel sauce, which is a cup of dates, a quarter cup of cashews, a cup of almond milk, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, and a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. So you um, soak the dates and cashews in a bowl or mason jar with a cup of hot water and allow it to sit for an hour or overnight. And then drain them well and then blend everything together and refrigerate it until you're ready to make smoothies. And then the second step is a half a cup of almond milk, a half a cup of frozen banana, that's about a half a large banana, three quarters teaspoon vanilla, a drop of cinnamon bark, a drop of nutmeg vitality, and then two tablespoons of that vegan caramel sauce that you made up here. I'm going to try this tomorrow. And a couple of ice cubes if you want um, if you want it super cold. I like most of my food warm. So just put all that stuff in the um, in the blender and um, process until smooth. And you can also pour two tablespoons of the caramel sauce down the sides of a glass and top with the smoothie mixture. So that one sounds really good. And then pumpkin cider. So you want uh, apple juice or apple cider, three tablespoons canned pumpkin puree, a tablespoon of maple syrup, one teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, and then a drop of cinnamon bark vitality. <coughs> and then just heat till warm, but not boiling and keep stirring it all. And then put um, let it cool a bit, add the cinnamon bark, and then put it into mugs and garnish with apple slices. Doesn't that sound good? Mm -mm -mm. Um, hmm. What was the other one that I didn't print? Maybe it was the, um, it might have been the pimply one. Because I figured this so if you need the pimply one, just let me know and I can I can send it to you on text or something. Or I can print up um, one whole paper of them and just 
take off one thing. I was going to just do three sheets, but I can do an extra one if you want that one. So you guys all know about becoming a member and you know, uh, most of you have heard me talk about essential rewards. So um, definitely look at that and thank you for coming. And there's one other thing I want to share with you. Let's see, new share. Gotta find it here. Well, I guess I don't have it open. I'm finding it here. I know it's here somewhere. Here. Okay. Um, the Young Living Holiday Catalog is always an awesome event that people look forward to. The catalog has um, bundled products or like um, a pretty mug with a couple of vitality oils or a box of lip balm. Um, frankincense and frankincense um, resin, uh, several different kinds of things that are in the holiday catalog, soap with socks, all kinds of different things have been in the past. The 2020 holiday launch is Saturday, October 17th. Um, it, I'm going to host a um, online Young Living is going to do the presentation, but I'm going to do it on my Zoom. So I'll share my screen from the Young Living event so that you can see the products, see the catalogs. And, um, and then at the end of the launch, normally they open it up so that you can open the ordering up so you can order your products. So, um, so save the date if you um, don't have anything right now. Um, I'm going to have a few people here if you want to um, join here to, um, I, I don't know if I'm going to have catalogs or it's been really not real clear on the event page what they're doing with it, but um, we're supposed to be able to order product ahead of time, so I don't know. But um, save the date, I'm going to send out a text about save the date also to everyone on your team so your team will know but um you know talk to them about it get excited about it it's a great place to buy christmas presents and get um get um pv credit for it so um so that is all i have this evening i think everybody i told everyone that i was um was um, sending out the card. So again, if you're watching this as a recording and you want the recipe cards, just um, send me a text with your name and address and say um, recipe cards, and then I'll get it shipped out to you right away. Uh, anybody have any questions on anything we covered or um, anything upcoming or I loved your presentation. It was very cute, Cricket. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Nobody? Okay, well, it's an early night then. Thanks all for coming. Have a great evening. Thank what you. does Eve smell like? What's Bye. that? Thank you, Cricket. What does thank Eve you. smell like? Thieves? It smells mostly like cinnamon. Thieves has cinnamon, clove, lemon, and rosemary in it. Okay, thanks. Yeah. 
All right, everyone, have a good evening. <laughs>